Hi everyone, welcome back to Las Vegas Now. Well, last night, the winner of Survivor, uh, Winners at War, was crowned. That's right, and Mercedes got the exclusive and talked to that person who is now also a two, is now also $2 million richer. So let's check it out. The champ is here. It is Tony, the winner of Survivor. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I have to say, I have been watching Survivor for a very long time, and this was the best season ever. Um, yeah, I, I would agree with you until I see Natalie come back in from the edge and try to ruin my game. <laughs> so, but uh, it all worked out in the end, I guess. So, yes, it's one of my favorites. So last night, for the first time ever in Survivor history, just with the pandemic happening right now, Jeff was reading the votes via Zoom. What were you thinking? Were you nervous or did you think, oh, I have a pretty good chance of winning this? The winner of Survivor, Winners at War, Tony. You always have that little feeling in your mind, like, I don't want to be too confident. Just like on the game, when you're overconfident, you get blindsided. So I didn't want to get blindsided with, with it being all Natalie's votes or Michelle's votes. So I had an idea that I could have pulled it off. But again, until I see it officially, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not convinced. That was just so fun to watch. What did you think about the old school versus the new school? Uh, you know, I, I, I truly think that the old school players are so good at the game that the new schoolers know that and they wanted to get rid of them. But I don't think it was like, oh, we got to just get rid of the old school because they're old school. I think it's just, look who the old school players are. You have Ethan, you have Poverty, you have Boston Rob. You know, you have all these old schoolers, Danny. They're good at the game, you know, so that I, I, they are definitely threatening, you know. That's why, that's what I think. I didn't get a chance to play with them, thank goodness, because they could have probably got me out right away. So <laughs> everything worked out perfectly for me. When you go back and watch the season, was there any one moment that you thought, oh, my gosh, I had no idea that was going on? The Ben thing, obviously, Sarah voted out Ben. I had no idea about that. That was the only time in my survivor career that I didn't know where the votes were going. But the one on TV that I found out was Sandra ratting me out to Kim about my spy, uh, my spy bunker by the well on the, like the very beginning of the season. Me and Sandra were like, Sandra, I got a spy shack. It's right by the well. I'm going to go hide in there and listen to people. Because I thought Sandra was on my side. So watching it back, she was saying, come on, let's go talk somewhere else. There might be a spy shack around here. I'm like, what? I got to ask, is that, spy, is that your spy shack at home right behind you, that tent? That, that's, my, that's the spy tent for the kids. <laughs> They're in there right now listening to us. Well, that was an amazing season. I think we should do a celebratory dance for Tony winning. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yes, that's right. Congrats. What a fun season. And you truly were deserving. You were smart. You really outwitted those players. And, and you did a great job. Congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Mercedes.